Okay, how to win almost every Skywars game. I've clicked on this video. So the first thing you want to do is not get killed immediately by somebody rushing. There we go. And then the next thing you want to do is just you want to loot your chest as quickly as possible. And just grab the armor and the block and just really everything that you think is important for your survival. Like, I, I definitely need pants. So I'm going to go to this island and get some pants because that'll be helpful. There we go. And then you want to quickly rush mid before anybody else beats you in order to get all the mid loot. As you can see, these players have beat me to mid. But the good thing about Skywars is it's pretty easy to clean up fights. So I can kill this guy fairly easy now. So there we go. We killed them. And yeah, so after you rush mid, you want to get all the good mid loot. Because whoever gets the mid loot, you basically own the world. Because nobody can stand up to like just like full diamond armor. You know, it's hard to beat that. And come on, just, let me just kill this player. You can just die. Okay, they're going to build up there. Are you kidding me? Okay, no, no, no. Don't do this. Just die. Oh my god. This player is going to run for infinity. No. Okay. You're really going to stop to bow me because I can kill them so easily. Okay. I know that there's a player behind me. So I'm going to fight them first because, you know, it's easier to try your best to not get knocked off. So I'm going to kill him and then I'm going to pearl in here and hopefully kill this player. Nope, they almost knocked me off, but we're just going to come back on here and kill them. So another important kit to get is the Bulldozer Kit, because it basically gives you strength for 3 seconds whenever you kill them. So you'll practically do double damage, so it's really overpowered. The Bulldozer Perk, so it's really overpowered because you get strength. But unfortunately, the strength effect doesn't stay if you Ender Pearl. So if you Ender Pearl, the strength effect will disappear because that's what the Skywars people, that's what they did to nerf it. So yeah, so just keep that in mind. And I also always use the Enderman kit because the Enderman kit comes with two free Ender Pearls. And they do have cooldown for 60 seconds. But the good thing about them is that, I mean, you get two free Ender Pearls that you'll be able to use later. And it's all around a pretty good kit. Okay, so I don't know what this guy's doing, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and just build above him. Because, you know what, what's he going to do to stop me? Nothing. He, he can't do anything. Uh, can I make a beacon? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. And GG. Before you guys start thinking, well, why can I trust this guy? I mean, I do have 3,442 wins and 27,000 kills. So, you know, I, I played a lot of Sky Wars. And we're back on pallet. So, the uh, reason why the Ender Pearl kit is so good is, look, 30 seconds still, but we still have two free Ender Pearls. So, it's really OP. And you don't have to loot every chest every time, but just make sure you get armor. Like, if I loot the first two chests and I get armor, then I'll just rush mid because, you know... We have enough armor where we can afford to rush mid. And look, you also want to use the map to your advantage because the little areas on the edge right there, it's really easy to knock players into the void if you just get the right angle on them, which is why it's always good to know like where the good places to knock someone off will be. And that's why I always know them. Oh, come on. Hopefully this player will just die. Yes, if you guys want to see like every map, I've played on almost every map so you guys can see how I play on all of them, I guess. If that's your kind of thing, because I, I think it's helpful to like just watch how you play on each map and see like what was successful and what really didn't work. So yeah, that kind of works for me. Oh, come on. This player can just die. And in case you guys are wondering like when to block it, pretty much I, I block it whenever I'm about to die. I just block it because you take less damage. So it's all around just going to be a good strat to do. Um, Come on. Yes, this player can go ahead and die. Okay, they're bouncy. The frog kit's also good for rushing. That just reminded me of that. But come on. Die and die. Close fight. So now that we killed them, uh, what do we need? I, I guess I'll just get their frog potion and then we'll also just jump to mid because we need. We can also. Uh, those upper chests aren't really the. I mean, they've already been looted, so I don't know why I would get it. There's only one player left alive, so hopefully we can find them. But before we fight after them, maybe we could use some gaps. You always want to check all the mid chests. I mean, you could also just rush players and just be really aggressive, but. It's whatever you want to do, but I think mainly just better to play it kind of safe, I guess. I mean, just rush people whenever you have strength or if they look low, you know, just play it smart, basically. Okay, the chests are about to refill, so we can just go back to mid and get these chests. And yes, we got gaps, so we're just going to gap up. And we already have enough pearls and stuff, so we'll be fine. So we can basically just rush this guy. Let's see where they are. Where Where is this last player? Wait, what? Where are they? 
Oh my god, they're up here. Are you kidding me? There they are. And die. GG. Oh, I put three Gs. When you're playing, you should also make sure a strafe is when you hold down W and then press A and D, your side keys, to like maneuver around the opponent so that then you make yourself harder to hit. And it's pretty OP because, I mean, all Skywars players, most PvPers know how to do this already. But if you don't, this is just a helpful tip in order to make it harder for you to hit, to be hit. You can also W tap, but I mean, I don't usually do that because, personally, I'm not good at W tapping. So, um, this player's... Probably gonna knock me in the void if I try to bridge over. So we're just gonna wait for the one second to wear off. And come on. Pearl the mid. And yes. Okay, we landed right at this chest. Which is perfect. So we can splash down regen. And then bridge this way. Come on, give me this mid chest, please. Yes. Okay, good. We basically have full diamonds. So we're pretty much set. Um, Hopefully, yeah. So we can knock, he can knock players off. There's no real shame in that. Okay, unless they have pearls and they can just come back to life like that then that then that's a problem but for the most part we should be fine hopefully oh come on i gotta strength these players yes give me strength thank you and all the kills are mine okay now that we have full diamond we basically are set so we can just put on this good stuff and okay somebody is trying to kill me I don't appreciate that. I see. Look, so we're chasing left and right to just combo the absolute heck out of that guy. Another important thing is when you're, whenever you're block hitting, I don't know if you guys know what block hitting is. I realized I talked about it, but I was like, wait, what if you don't know what block hitting is? It's when you hit the right mouse button and the left mouse button at the same time, and it makes you hit really good. And I have 1.7 animations mod, so if you don't have it, then it'll just look like you're going like this. But if you do have it, it'll look smooth. So that's in case you're wondering why your block hits don't look like mine and oh glass is invisible in this texture pack i better change this pack sometime but you know what i don't have the time for that um come on yes yeah, see as you guys can see block hits look pretty smooth with this texture pack on um come on let's just rush mid and come on notice me i want to strength you okay i think our strength wore out now but we can hopefully still pvp okay they basically gave up but we can just pearl in here and kill them. And okay, is anybody gonna come? I don't think so. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, I also have a perk where every time I get a kill, I get either a gap or an ender pearl. So that's pretty nice in case you guys were wondering why I'm getting gaps and ender pearls randomly. Because I, I feel like that's something that you guys would wonder. Yeah. Um. Come on, why is this guy just running away and setting me on fire? This is not a good strat. And he knocked himself into the void. Amazing. Do we have strength? Yes, we do. And we killed the last guy. And there we go. <laughs> GG. Hopefully you guys find this found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And let me know if this worked. Hopefully it did. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.